India. Land of Yoga, Ayurveda, Vegetarianism. And now, the diabetes capital of the world. How could this happen? Are we missing something? Is our understanding and treatment of diabetes being sabotaged by myths? Could it be that diabetes is not hereditary? Or that walking is not really the best exercise? Or that fasting is good for diabetes? Not long ago, type 2 diabetes was almost unheard of. Today, more than 1 in 10 Indians suffer from it. The deadly effect of COVID-19 on diabetics has really brought home the terrible consequences of this disease. Small wonder then that a diagnosis of diabetes brings a cloud of doom and gloom. But there is a bright ray on the horizon. In the face of conventional prognosis that holds it to be irreversible, one man and his team have proved that it is not. His intensive reversal program has successfully helped thousands of diabetics reverse their condition. Here with us today is Dr. Pramod Tripathi, one man on a mission to end diabetes. And where better to begin than by busting its dangerous myths? Welcome, Doctor. Thank you so much for being here with us today. The work that you're doing is exemplary and much needed. Before we begin, I have to ask you, how come you decided to devote yourself to reversing diabetes? You clearly prepared and studied with this one specific objective in mind. I mean, you've not just earned your MBBS, you've also trained in diverse uh, medical disciplines including diabetes management, yoga, art of living, neuro-linguistic programming, pranic healing, Reiki, Vipassana meditation and that's, that's a lot for someone quite so young. Or have you also discovered the secret to eternal youth? Come on, out with your secret. <laughs> oh, Mandira, I'm still discovering. I'm just 47 right now, feel really young and all these uh, courses, formal, semi-formal, I strongly feel, you know, have contributed a lot in discovering some real good secrets of youthfulness. And I'm sure something like this happens for most of us because I do realize that every course, every teacher, every experience that we go through starts preparing us for the life's forthcoming attractions, life's forthcoming attractions and I'm sure whatever you're doing in fitness, in communication, so many things have prepared you for that till now. So yes, I do feel really young and I feel lovely while making others young. When you say 47, I say you look like in your early 30s. I mean, even, even younger <laughs> perhaps. Doctor, would you say that all your studies have brought and you know, your, their own individual flavor to your diabetes reversal program? Yes, they have. They have because during medical times, what is firstly taught is diabetes is never reversible and you know, uh, BP tablets, cholesterol tablets should never be stopped. And uh, yes, there is a place for that. But the moment you step out of that, what I say, blinders as horses, many of us put ourselves with, then a whole world opens up and uh, every domain is a huge ocean. The diet domain is a huge ocean. The exercise domain is a huge ocean. And you know, changing yourself from within, inner transformation, working on stress, building positivity. My God, there's so much to learn. There's so many teachers for each one of them. And medical side itself is a huge ocean in itself. So what's happened by the deeper purpose, and I think anyone everywhere in the world, when you are guided by a deeper purpose, nice things starts happening in your life. And that's what's happened with me. A lot of nice teachers and courses and insights have come my way, which has been helping 
diabetics really reverse really reverse well we are going to plunge into all of those oceans one by one uh, <laughs> as the sessions go by but sure. uh, you know uh, there's really never been a time when diabetics have been more at risk than now because of the pandemic it's taken a huge toll on all the diabetics across the world it's also forced lockdown after lockdown on us the silver lining is that diabetics now have time and resources to work on their health which makes the program ideal since it's online yes. now on a practical note tell us this how easy or difficult is reversal to achieve especially during these times during these times is the best time mandara because this is the time when you're not traveling out of the city this is the time when you're eating home cooked food cleaning your own dishes <laughs> doing a lot of work at home and through this tiddly bidly camera okay it's amazing to see how energy transfers how people get educated and while they are implementing how they get supported for anything and everything they need so online time to reverse the best times are right now and just to give you the statistics 80% plus are becoming free of insulin in 6 months uh, 60% plus are becoming free of tablets in 3 to 6 months and in the last 6 months while the covid cloud is there we've had more than 4000 people joining from 20 countries 20 countries 4000 people out of which 2000 plus are already free so the best time is now there's no better moment than this present moment doctor i also have to tell you this that i've been so impressed with the work that you've done that i have told my mom and a couple of my friends to make a list of people they know at who are diabetics and you're going to get a whole lot of people from my end who are going to come and uh, join your program because uh, who doesn't want to reverse diabetes but uh, doctor Absolutely. there are plenty of myths surrounding uh, diabetes the genetic factor for example uh we've all been uh, you know given reason to believe that this disease is hereditary and uh, that there's a certain inevitability uh when it comes to this uh, and there's not much one one can do about it but you you've proven that that is not so in fact uh, today we have a couple of brothers uh twins no less who overcame their you know, genetic disadvantage uh to resoundingly beat back the disease i'm i'm really looking forward to talking to them in their case sure. uh in their case uh, it's an anomaly or is it that anyone can replicate their success many can replicate as i mentioned already 80% of insulin 60% of tablets and when we look at statistics what we get fed with is if one parent is a diabetic 40% chance that the child is going to get it if both parents are diabetics then 70% chance that the person will get diabetes and if you have a twin brother twin sister chances are 60 to 70% of getting diabetes so katakkar brothers have definitely proven otherwise despite one of their parent and both of them having diabetes they have reversed and this is for everyone who's watching this show for the first time and who is again i would say blinded like a horse with that thought that diabetes is hereditary please connect just connect with the human dna human dna doesn't undergo a dramatic shift in decades it undergoes dramatic shifts over many many thousands of years and if in 40 50 years we are what do you say quadrupling maybe 10 times more the disease is coming forth in different parts of the world then there is something beyond dna it's 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 a lot to do with the environment the lifestyle so many things so a uh, lot more people can become free than what they think right now that they can become free and that's the truth well doctor we all know how insidious this uh, disease is as the video shows this is a global problem as you just said as well 
and India is the worst affected in spite of you know Ayurveda in our heritage, our vegetarian diet, the fact that we love home cooked meals. Um, I mean, I, I have to ask, are Indians especially susceptible to diabetes? Is our we spoke of DNA, is our DNA sabotaging us? And could you also very briefly explain what happens on a cellular level that leads to type 2 diabetes? Sure, I think both questions very, very relevant. Firstly, we need to understand that Asians as such compound to around 60% of the total diabetic population in the world, 60%. So there are many genes that are being tracked with inconclusive consistency and results throughout. But what is being found out amongst Asian very commonly is one of the phenomena is the low birth weight phenomena. When, when the child is growing in mother's womb, if the, if the weight is less, okay, overall, then the tendency to get diabetes later is on the higher side because of certain dysfunctions that the person undergoes. Uh, what's even more interesting is a word which you'll also love Mandira and that is called thin fat Indian thin fat Indian so it's, it's, a, it's a very it's a scientifically utilized word thin fat Indian like overall Indians or let's say South Asians maybe on the thinner side the tummy might be just a little bit more out than otherwise so a little bit more fat a little bit less muscle low birth weight um, these are definite contributory factors and certain types of diabetes do have some markers genetically but given all that the show is governed by your lifestyle by the way your mindset is by the way your habits are because the second part to what you asked me was what happens at the cellular level and cellular level is something really interesting the story is about resistance to insulin and I want everybody to register that it's it's not about less insulin in the body but at the cellular level when the insulin is trying to attach itself to the receptors trying to push the glucose away from the blood into the cells and there's some resistance happening over there which is not enabling it to shift the glucose from the blood into the cells is what is rising the blood sugar and contributing to diabetes. So at a cellular level, everybody in the world need to pick this up sooner or later, sooner the better that the story is about insulin resistance. Insulin resistance or excess of insulin? What is the problem? Why do doctors prescribe insulin for diabetes? It seems a little counter uh, intuitive to me. Yes, yes, yes. In fact, this is something which really confuses people that when there is insulin resistance, the body is already secreting excess insulin. And when the body is secreting excess insulin, then why am I being put on excess insulin from outside? So the, the message is very simple that we've got some 70 trillion cells, huge number. Every cell has 5,000 to 10,000 receptors, which are locks where insulin goes and attaches and tries to open them up. So the normal problem in type 2 diabetics is resistance to insulin, whereby the locks are not opening up. So when you pump in excess insulin from outside, okay, what happens is certain locks out of those 5, 10,000 locks which are unoccupied, they get occupied by this insulin and then it tends to push the glucose which is floating in the blood into the cells. So that way external insulin helps, that way tablets also help, but neither the insulin nor the tablets is actually addressing the root cause which is the resistance to insulin and that's where we need to become more aware and work upon at a much deep level if we are really interested to become free if we are interested to reverse you know you've really got my interest there doctor in fact i had a whole animation going on my head 
with insulin being pumped in and locks not opening and locks opening but that is really very very interesting i have to say but uh, doctor we are here to bust myths so let mm-hmm. me start with the most basic one of all we've all been told repeatedly that this is a hereditary disease is this myth or the truth it's a partial truth it's not the full truth the full truth is that you have the power to reverse your diabetes despite both your parents having it and it's not only me who's saying this this is what science is also opening up to just to give a little deeper perspective our chromosomes let's say this sleeve of mine is like a chromosome it has the genes written on it in terms of my parents having diabetes that gene is dormant it is a sleeping gene it's covered up with something called as a regulatory protein okay now when the conditions become conducive with your belly coming out with you know a lot of stress a lot of inflammation inside the body and many causes there is actually an interaction between the protein of the cell membrane which is on the outer side of the cells with the protein on the chromosomes and with that interaction this regulatory protein which is governing this dormant which is sleeping gene uncovers and then this gene expresses itself of diabetes so some and substance it's a gene which can be switched on and switched off by you and there's a Harvard medical cellular biologist also who was explained in great detail okay uh, dr bruce lipton beautiful book biology of belief of how our beliefs how our emotions how our overall environment inside the body makes us more and more conducive to expressing diseases which we carry genetically genetically we are carrying cancer genetically we are carrying everything all the diseases in the world we are carrying genetically but whether we should express it or not is a lot up to us so being it hereditary partial truth don't use it as an excuse to remain a diabetic is what i would communicate to everyone in simple language beyond all the technical scientific stuff don't use it as an excuse there is a little talk on diet and exercise and to lose weight and walk but the intensity with which it should be done and can be done for relief for thousands and thousands of people is definitely not there so i want to liken that to a simple example which the audience can pick up and that is of fever versus diabetes you know for fever we do take paracetamol in the form of calpol or crocine or many other tablets and we kind of suppress the fever for 8 hours 12 hours the moment the effect of the tablet wears off we need to pop in one more pill and the same is the situation with diabetes whether you're on metformin or glyclazide glimepiride jalra oxra foxiga insulin so many types of tablets or insulin all of them are working for 8 hours 12 hours 24 hours the moment the effect of the medication goes away the sugars keep rising here the fever keeps rising here the sugars keep rising so what you need to understand is that the root cause of fever is not the temperature for fever infection becomes the major reason which needs to be treated first exactly in the same way for type 2 diabetes it's not the rising sugar which needs to be treated alone with tablets and insulin that's one part of the treatment the major inputs efforts need to be given to neutralize the excess insulin resistance inside the body that insulin resistance is the infection in the type 2 diabetics which needs to be treated and for that no real tablet or insulin exists that can only be treated by making changes in your diet in your exercise in your stress in your lifestyle natural stuff that's how we need to go about it okay doctor now you 
you've spoken a lot about insulin resistance. It seems to be a very important part of this whole thing. But but what is the root cause? What would you say is the root cause of diabetes? Where does it come from? How does it happen? There are seven root causes which contribute to insulin resistance. First amongst them is something called as IGF molecule, insulin-like growth factor, something which looks like insulin, which comes through our diet, which we'll be discovering a lot more in the second session, and it kind of jams the receptors. It doesn't let the insulin receptors open up quickly. So IGF is a very predominant root cause which we need to eliminate. Second comes acid and inflammation which is related to if you are sleeping late after 11 o'clock if you are um, eating dinner very late after nine o'clock every day if you're having a lot of acidic food in your diet that is going to create inflammation around the cells they're going to be swollen up the locks are not going to be opening up quickly so inflammation acid reduction very very important need to go on a more alkaline diet and lifestyle third is excess fat and that excess fat starts jamming the receptors from inside which itself creates resistance to insulin it's like you have the key to open up the lock but there's also some chewing gum sitting inside the lock which is not letting you open up the lock so that's the third root cause reduction of fat especially abdominal fat and intramyocellular means inside the muscle cell fat we need to reduce that it's a very important root cause point number three fourth is lack of micronutrients i think people are becoming more and more aware of this in terms of b12 and d3 and chromium vanadium zinc selenium magnesium phosphorus many of them are there which we need to either take it through the diet or through supplements and they are very very important because if the micronutrient level is low then we are not able to convert the glucose into energy quickly and that itself creates excess glucose toxicity and acid built up in the system and acid is our biggest enemy one of the secrets for youthfulness mandira we started off with that was uh, i mean what is it and one of the secret in that is to have lesser acid in the system more alkalinity and more micronutrition so these are four diet related things there are two exercise related stuff one is linked to the stuck up blood stuck up blood you know which is called stagnated lymph many diabetics remain with only one exercise as a staple exercise which is walking which is decent useful but doesn't really move the stuck up blood which is along your spine or along your whole system and whenever blood accumulates the way water accumulates outside if the blood accumulates inside your system then itself is going to contribute to inflammation okay inflammation acid are things that diabetics need to learn big time if they are interested in reversal that's a fifth point stuck up blood sixth is linked to a lack of strength in the muscles overall muscle percentage is low because muscles are the go down muscles are the place where the storage is happening i mean people are shocked to know when they come to know that in our blood there is only one teaspoon of blood glucose only one teaspoon of glucose Whereas in muscles, it's 100 times more, 100 teaspoons, 500 grams, half a kg. So uh, muscles need to be really strong if you need to be able to mobilize not only glucose, but also fat. So lack of muscle strength, which is common after 30s, you know, uh, in India and many countries, because very little attention is paid to muscle building. That becomes the sixth cause. And the last one is stress. Stress is a very, very active contributor because all the hormones which get generated with stress, they start interfering with insulin action. And uh, one has to work on that. And there's no shortcut to that because it's going to remain with us till the time we are alive. We need to develop mechanisms, you know, become more resourceful, become more resilient to handle our life challenges, be it COVID, be it finances, be it family, be it bosses, targets, whatever it is. So in, in short, these are the seven causes I have kind of touched upon in a very quick manner to get a feel of it. IGF, acid, excess fat, lack of micronutrition, stuck up blood, lack of muscle strength and stress. These seven root causes, if you can work upon and none of these causes 
are going to be worked upon by any tablet or insulin but if you make the right changes if you work upon them you are going to experience reversal how do we normalize insulin sensitivity to normalize insulin sensitivity uh, we need to really educate ourselves on the seven causes number one uh, once you understand them more deeply there needs to be an internal commitment to walk the path not just talk the talk but actually walk the path okay and while you're implementing then there are going to be a lot of ups and downs uh, sugars are going to go up sugars are going to go down we changes in diet we change in exercise by doing some stress management techniques releasing stress accumulated stress so one needs to educate one needs to implement one needs to take support one should not shy away from taking active support from doctors, diet experts, exercise experts who work like a good team. Okay. And then the journey is of inspiration. You have to inspire yourself from outside and inside to create a body which is only a dream for such some people. You know, it's like uh, it's about running marathons at times, it's about advancing advancing in yoga at times it's about cycling it's about doing things which you've never done before you know kind of stretching the rubber band to a level that the disease can never come back so a lot of role of motivation inspiration is there in creating a body and mind uh, which is only a dream for most people so uh, there is commitment involved there is work involved there is uh, a phase wise uh, education and discipline involved. It's not that the same diet works for life. It's not that the same exercises are going to work for a long term. You have to keep changing based on your stage and keep growing in your understanding and implementation. That's how you actually reverse, reverse, reverse and to a level where you can even consume 15 teaspoons of raw glucose this is going to be a shocker for you but 15 teaspoons of raw glucose people hundreds of them have consumed and you can reach many people can reach that stage of reversal called as passing the glucose tolerance test very very interesting test very powerful test very interesting test to aspire for but it's not like something immediate you need to kind of mature yourself for six months one year at times it's a tapa it's a tapa you need to kind of really take that path wow that is so inspiring doctor i can't even tell you i'm like wow now <laughs> reverse 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 you can do it you have done it but can i mean done it for so many people but can everybody do it that is my question yeah i think we need to be realistic over here and you know sometimes people when they become optimistic they become so optimistic they just kind of stop being realistic so we always promote realism in our entire work always stay with the truth what is really possible and as i mentioned earlier 80 percent plus will be going off insulin type 2 diabetics 60 percent plus will be going off tablets okay what about the others the remaining 20 percent who are not off insulin remaining 40 percent or less who are not of tablets will be better than before but they may not become free completely they will still reverse their hba1c will be better their physical structure will improve but they may not become free of medications for many reasons there are amongst type 2s there are many of them are actually type 1s there's something called as modi lada which always takes longer uh, to become free or they don't become free there are at times thin diabetics who are not able to secrete that much of insulin that's why they don't become free so there are many many reasons or just sheer long-standing diabetes like we, we've had people with even 40 years of people who are taking insulin 30 years of taking insulin becoming free but everyone with long-standing diabetes may not become completely free they may become free of insulin but medicines may remain so there are many reasons why a certain percentage may not become free of medication but that shouldn't be the goal alone in reversal reversal goal should be to look young to feel young to do things which you were not doing for the last 10 years even if the tablets are you know still there a little bit 
but you are much more educated you are much more confident you are much more fitter so one has to approach reversal that way so i would say in summary many many become free some may not and there are valid reasons for that now clearly diabetes can be reversed we hear it from you we know it from you but tell me this does the entire international medical community agree with this i think the national and the international medical community both are undergoing a change process which has been initiated by many interesting doctors so again it's not only me alone who's talking of reversal there are many more doctors who have not only talked of it but demonstrated it written books published papers so reversal as a concept very much exists nationally internationally now it's just that when you take a sample of a large population of doctors each one of them would be at different stages of exposure of denial or acceptance or embracement of this concept as a reality so just a few more doctors i would love to uh, kind of share their books for the benefit of the audience uh, dr dr neil bernard uh, has been a big inspiration for many for reversing diabetes internationally beautiful book and a whole community called pcrm uh, with them this is uh, coming physicians committee for responsible medicine uh, i have loved this man wherever he is i've never met him dr gabriel cousins uh, very bold title there's a cure for diabetes very powerful and very interesting book at the level of biochemistry at the level of physiology at the level of cellular understanding dr joel furman end of diabetes and these are just a few there are many many more okay and okay they are quoting many many books and meta analysis and researches so when i read this uh, all these books in 2011 uh, i was really inspired that we should do something in india and we started in a small way in 2013 with just 225 participants throughout the year and uh, by 2015 we started getting people in 10000 plus and almost till 2017 we took time to you know formulate the overall protocol because it's about human behavior change and not only the diabetic but the entire family and initially we were doing 2 hours seminars 4 hours some programs for 3 months 4 months 6 months then we realized it has to be the wali to the wali holy to holy ganpati to ganpati one year of a grind needs to be there and now more than 6000 in fact today morning i checked on our crm the exact number is 6481 people are free of medication so uh, entire medical community is coming to terms with it is uh, either ignorant some of them some of them get exposed to it and in the initial phase whenever there's a change there's a denial so there's a denial at times moving into acceptance when they see second patient third patient fourth patient this research paper published uh, that research paper published you know like for example uh, on 1st of september 302 kidney patients nephropathy reversal has got proven through the ffd protocol freedom from diabetes protocol it's a very proud moment for us that 302 kidney patients could undergo reversal diabetics type 2 diabetics could undergo reversal so when more and more papers get published when more and more books get published and more and more critical mass when 10000 people become free through us when 100000 which is our dream become free then there's no way but to embrace the reality that yes reversal is a reality so all my brothers and sisters from the medical fraternity across india and the world this is an invitation for all of us to become aware of the truth of reversal and go through the journey quickly from you know maybe doubting denying to understanding accepting and hopefully embracing it because the world needs it people need to become free of medications if it's possible 
Doctor, you know, just the way you shared uh, the names of your uh, favorite doctors, doctors who inspire you. There are going to be many Indian doctors who are going to be taking your name in the same fashion and will be saying that here's the doctor who inspired us. So oh, wow. I mean, that's how I feel when I when I speak to you. These are golden words. These are golden words coming in the moment. Thank you, Madhura. Thank you so much. But the intention intention is to move from that whatever six and a half thousand to ten thousand to hundred thousand. Hundred thousand is what we are looking at in the near future. That will happen sooner than soon, I think. So we've established today that diabetes, especially type two diabetes, is indeed reversible. Now let's talk to someone who has actually been through the experience. Twin brothers who beat genetic obstacles and some serious medical complications to successfully reverse their diabetes. I'd like to introduce the brothers Katakkar. But before we get up close and personal with them, let's take a look at their reversal journey. that diabetes can be reversed at all came to me as a very pleasant and as a big surprise and I was highly impressed with the results my twin brother Sri Ram he got and the very quick results and hence I joined this program in the beginning of 2018. Pleasure to have you here with us. We want to hear your inspiring story. I don't want to be too intrusive, but I need to ask you. We want to know more about this journey of your reverse. All right. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. Uh, uh, you know, I I stayed in different places in India. I was also in Germany for a couple of years. Uh, when I returned from Germany in 2006, uh, that's when my diabetes was detected first. And like many other diabetic patients it was a shock and you know as a first reaction this is not my report let me get it tested again and so on and so forth couple of weeks three weeks down the line then i digested that this is my report and i am diabetic so uh, certainly i have a history of diabetes in my family um, so was expecting one day it will come but when it comes it is always a shock Afterwards, I started medications. I was in Mumbai that time when I returned from Germany. So I continued medications from 2010-11 onwards. I started exercising. I was regular gymming, but uh, you know, the diabetes still won't go. So I started controlling, you know, various diabetic uh, uh, diet patterns. Someone was telling to eat a couple of hours every two hours. The diabetics uh, should not starve themselves. All of that was happening until 2017 and when it started really getting too much for me. I was in Gurgaon that time and I returned to Pune at the beginning of 2018. 
and uh, to my surprise my brother shriram he came across uh, dr tripathi sometimes in the middle of 2017 and he shared his story he said that you know what my diabetes my tablets actually stopped in 7 days 6 days and uh, this can be reversed i was really very much impressed because so long i have been hearing that diabetes is for with you for life it can never be reversed so here is a surprise and then i said let me try so fortunately i came back to pune at the beginning of 2018 and then i joined this uh, intensive reversal program my tablets also were stopped in 6 days smoothie was something this was came as a really a great thing for us uh, both of us were not sure initially what is this smoothie going to be we are not used to all of this but when i tested smoothie it is really very good tasty drink we continued with the uh, protocol of ffd with exercise the diet and after the intensive uh, the acceleration phase as we call it i lost about uh, 9 to 10 kg of weight many of uh, areas you know i had a knee pain and so on maybe related to weight it kind of vanished as a miracle so i said i am taking a treatment from for diabetes but this has changed my lifestyle completely it has you know given uh, all the other areas which were also affecting you know were cured automatically without any medication and my medication stopped i was very feeling very healthy and energetic and now last two and half years absolutely no medication uh, i feel energetic and now i spend my time also whatever time available mentoring others because this is a great cause that dr tripathi is uh, working on and i wish also i should be helping with my experience with those who need some support and help of getting rid of diabetes that is indeed very impressive lakshman can you, uh, you tell us a little bit more about what your life was like uh, before you started the program so uh, i'll give you a little bit before i was found diabetic um i was in germany so i ate everything possible including all kind of meat fish everything i used to travel a lot so i used to eat and, and enjoy eating really and uh, you know as i came uh, further when i realized that i have diabetes i started controlling but i was still having fortunately i was never alcoholic or never did i have any habits like smoking so that was a good part but uh, the diabetes still won't go away so i improved on my regime i started exercising started the gym but uh, always there was at the back of my mind that you know i have diabetes i had some irritation happening on my fingertips so the skin used to peel off and when you travel particular to the cold regions cold countries it used to actually bleed and i could not find any solution to that many ointments many things were tried but it did not work and you know after i started uh, this program with water happened maybe the body became more alkaline or the igf thing was uh, you know got, taken away i stopped milk and this vanished also like a miracle so that is what one thing that i would definitely like to mention that there was something which i found there is no solution but uh, uh, this solution worked wow okay tell me something what now i'm going to ask you a little i'm going to put you on the spot here a little bit tell me what was the most difficult thing about the program right i mean uh, the first phase is uh, i mean it's called as adjustment phase but it is very challenging you know i w- was used to having 6 7 cups of tea during the day so you go for a meeting and you take a tea and then somebody comes to meet you in the office you have a tea and the tea with milk so suddenly you have to stop everything that is related to milk suddenly you have to stop everything which is also a bakery product and you have to go completely vegan while i was having non vegetarian food maybe two times a week very difficult so first two three weeks was you know sometimes you will have headache and you know why are you doing this ultimately what are you going just taking two tablets so what is so difficult here continue with those tablets so that was also some thoughts coming in my mind so getting over that threshold was one thing which was uh, difficult the other thing is was when uh, you lose your weight you know your body weight you lose in the acceleration phase or you know when you start uh, juice fasting or water fasting and all my friends and colleagues started talking to me here you seem to be really sick i don't think you have taken the right decision this is not working for you you are losing weight you are losing muscle so just drop it go back to your normal routine getting over that also was one of the difficult thing and you know i'll share my experience whoever i meet i tell them just strictly follow just follow what has been given because that has worked with many that will also work for you of course some pointing is required for individuals 
with your own habits with your diet plans of some fine tuning will be required but ultimately it is proven that it works and i am very happy to have worked for me and my brother both you are an example that's why you're here and we want to hear your story <laughs> so what is the most what was the easiest or the most interesting thing of the program that you'd like to share right i mean uh, interesting part of this program is uh, they advise you they advise you to take one of your family members as a support member and i can tell you that unless there is a support member unless there is a somebody in the family also is a party to this decision that you have taken it will become extremely difficult because uh, many times you will be criticized many times you start fasting somebody in the family is going to tell you why are you fasting yaar you it doesn't look good for you start eating something so you need to have some partnership within the family at the same time you need to have some support on you know if you tend to take something wrong you know end up having sometimes you want to have misal pav sometimes you like to have vada pav so somebody in the family tells you you know what no stop it this is not for you so in the initial phase once you are through once you are uh, sugar levels are in control you feel your diabetes is in control of course you will have some freedom but that partnership is very interesting part also what is important is that you have all the time the advice available so if you have difficulty at 10 pm you just drop a message and i have experience that you get a response also at 10 pm so these are some things which i found very interesting that you know even if you don't have to meet the doctors there is a diet expert available there is a exercise expert available and they fine tune the program suitable to you for example i had some knee problems so the exercise which was given to me was considering that so it's not that you know this is the only exercise pattern if you do it it works if you don't do it it won't work it can be also fine tuned and that's how i found it very interesting because um i i work as a ceo in this company and uh, by nature of our job we are all very much result oriented we are very result focused and one good part about this program is this also you know the dr tripathi and his colleagues set a goal and they track your progress they measure your progress with respect to the goal and we also in our company say that measurements drive your behavior so this measurement part and daily measurement part actually works well for you so you have the mirror in front of you all the time if something is shifting here and there you have a consultancy available and you can find it yourself so that is how the program goes forward i love that uh, lakshman you know the the truth is in anything in life when you get results that's what makes it even more uh, motivating so even when you're on your weight loss journey it's results that motivate you more and what Absolutely. you said about support you got two prong support which is great one is the support of your family anything that you do that is challenging and big and life changing you have to have the support of your family and the other support that you got was from the team itself you know and that's what's important because it's very easy to drop off the wagon and here when you got support from the team itself and from your family that's uh, you know uh, that's what made your story uh, you know have have a result like this so congratulations that's, that's amazing what you have achieved i have another question for you uh, lakshman has has lockdown made it harder or easier for you because on the one hand lockdown means you're at home so you can focus on yourself and you can eat home cooked food and uh, you know you can focus on the reversal really but being at home also means that you uh, you know you can't you have to find ways of exercising at home which is very difficult for people who aren't very self motivated so what was your uh, take on that That's right. I mean, initially the lockdown had uh, a big question mark. You know, everything is stopped. You cannot go out. The gym is stopped. You can't go for swimming. Everything is closed. So, what are you going to do? At the same time, when you are at home all the time, your temptation to go towards the kitchen and eat something, snack something, is also more. So, both ways. Uh, you know, initially I had a challenge. What is going to happen? but again here you know my wife uh, she is partnering very well her name is arti so both of us decided you know so almost entire lockdown till the thing started easing up uh, by the beginning of june we had almost only two meals every day so we stopped the third meal whichever one you either drop the breakfast or drop the dinner or drop the lunch because you know that minimizes your habit of snacking and you are maintaining yourself in terms of not gaining weight 
Uh, in terms of exercise, I actually do have a small uh, kind of a mini gym at my place. So I have a cross trainer, the bicycle, I have a couple of uh, dumbbell weights. So we try to do that. And I live on 10th floor. So stairs climbing is an excellent exercise. And you can stretch yourself. And if you don't have, I don't have BP, my knee problems have been subsided. So I could actually do 30 floors. So you go 10 floors up, come down by lift, go 10 floors up, come down and go 10 again. Fantastic exercise. So with all of that, the NOD, the Morpola exercise, there is a variety that you can do. And uh, I mean, there is no problem. Even if there is a lockdown, even if longer period than this, there is a way you can maintain. And I think FFD protocol gives those possibilities. You said it, Lakshman. That's the truth. Ain't that the truth? In fact, I will tell you, in some sense, I have the same mini gym as you. I have a cross trainer, I have a bicycle, and I have some dumbbells and weights, and I also have uh, some steps in my house. So I'm doing the same uh, regime as you are. So, Lakshman, I have my last question from you. What was the final proof that you were free from diabetes? Was it the GTT? Absolutely. So, you know, I joined the program in February 2018 and I first appeared for my GTT in September 18. I'm very happy that I qualified the first GTT I attempted. So I successfully qualified GTT in 2018, again in 2019. And here I am ready to take the GTT for 2020 also. So the minimum requirement for GTT is your uh, H1, uh, uh, HbA1c should be below 6. 6.1, I am at 5.5. Very happy that I'm prepared for GTT number three. Very confident that I will also qualify GTT number three. So one of the things that uh, I would like to state also for, you know, some of us who are in the profession, who have a very busy schedule, who travel, who eat outside, uh, many times that comes as a challenge that how do you find exact the diet which is prescribed by FFD? And I'll share you my experience. Um, I have traveled more than 29 countries. Uh, I have been eating outside different uh, places. You always get an option. That is first. To the extent that I was in Osaka and I have downloaded, there is an app called Happy Cow. In Osaka, I found a vegan restaurant. So first and foremost, if you have a will, you will find a way. That is number one. Number two, many restaurants across the world can give you sprouts and salad always. That's always available. And you can also in Indian restaurant ask for a basin chila or they call it uh, tomato omelet. So you can always manage with food options even when you are traveling. Another important thing that FFD has taught us is uh, when, you know, before joining this program, managing the hunger used to be very difficult. You know, you have to eat every two hours and that is what the body has learned. What FFD has taught us is that you can actually enjoy fasting. So for example, if you don't get something that you should be eating, you can always keep a meal and doesn't, you know, it doesn't affect you. So the body is trained to also do that. So if you are very late for, you know, going for dinner, you can always skip it and you actually feel better because your system is easing out. The system is actually cleansing. So that is something that I would like to certainly share for those who are very busy schedule and travel. Nothing can really stop. You always will find an option. That is my experience. We, we call it metabolic flexibility. So you can feast at will. Which means, let's say you want to have the whole thali, Maharaja thali, marriage thali, you can have it. Still sugars are good. You can feast at will. You can fast at will. Your body can switch immediately from, you know, burning glucose which is coming through your mouth to burning the fat which is stored inside your body. So you can feast at will. You can fast at will. You can run at will. 5 kilometers, 10 kilometers, whatever is possible for you given your age and overall health condition. And that is a very interesting zone to be in of supreme fitness where your system is flexible, very, very flexible. Well, at the end, I, I, I'll say I'm feeling at least 10 years younger, if not more. <laughs> Amazing. What is this Dr. Tripathi? This is, you know, not just a reversal of diabetes. It's also like a fountain of youth that you are passing on to your patients. And I think that's absolutely incredible. I have to say, yeah, Lakshman, yeah. what you do is you embody the spirit of where there's a will, there's a way. I think it's incredible, be it with exercise or be it with food. That's the spirit you need to approach life with. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us. And thank you for sharing your story with us. Thank you. 
And we need to be clear that when you reverse, it's not just one disease which will reverse. When your overall system reverses is when you will really reverse. And that's very, very important. Well, there's no doubt, Dr. Tripathi, that FFT's program works. The numbers are simply amazing. 6,481 and counting. These are participants and who counting. are freed from diabetes. A huge percentage of them are going off medication within the first few weeks. And we're talking diabetics with other complications and who've been on medication for years. We've learned a lot in this session, but there's a lot more to come. In our next session, we'll take a closer look at the many food-related myths that are bound in standard diabetes treatment and what we actually should be eating. I think we're all in for a treat. Foodies, non-foodies, all included. Thank you, doctor, for making time uh, for this session. This has been really eye-opening and inspiring. Thank you, Mandira, for being there and taking us through a wonderful interaction. And if Sriram was here, he would have shared that 50% heart block, angiography before and after reports ready, that has got completely healed. And that's a testimony that it's not only diabetes, but weight and heart and joints and skin and varicose veins, so many things can be reversed. So thanks once again. I've decided I'm going to go on your program. I'm not diabetic, but I want to. I want to follow whatever you're doing, doctor. Most welcome. Most welcome. It's going to be our pleasure. It's going to be our pleasure as a team to have you on board. Look forward. If all of you enjoyed this session as much as I did and want to learn more about diabetes reversal, watch our videos on our YouTube channel or visit us on Facebook, LinkedIn or www.freedomfromdiabetes.org